What's up, YouTube? We've got a lot to catch up on. Welcome back to the Race Car and Show YouTube channel. Last video I made, I was kind of showing you guys the status of our turbo car, and where it sits. Uh, that video was about a year and a half ago, and as you can see, not much has changed. Still no motor, and in fact, everything has changed. All the plans that we talked about previously, out the window for this car. I want to do right by this car. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but long story short, this is not going to be the turbo car any longer. We got a lot to talk about. So while we talk, I'm going to pull these cars out of the garage and wash them up. So let's talk and wash for a little bit. We're just going to go ahead and let it air dry. Probably gonna have a ton of water spots on it by the time it's all said and done with, but like I said, we're just getting the dust out of this thing. Let's pull out the other car and wash that one next. Let's do a quick walk around this car real quick. This is my 2001 IS 300, the original IS that started it all. I've had this car since summer 2011, roughly. And it's pretty much 100% stock, except for it's manual swap. So I'm like 95% done with the manual swap. Just gotta do some wiring and stuff. So basically to wire in the ECU emulator. Took a few months to get it in, but finally got it. So just gotta wire that up real quick and finish that video for you guys. But Anyway, let's wash this thing before I figure out what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be selling it. All right, so we got the two cars washed. Now let's pull out the third car of the garage and wash that one. Channel hasn't met the third car yet, so. Thanks for watching. Let's go meet the new car. All right, well, here she is, new to me, 04. Sport Cross, all black. Black interior. It's got some coilovers on it. These are my wheels off the turbo car that I put on it. Oh, you gotta love the wagon. I don't know if I can ever go back. If you haven't guessed it yet, this is gonna be the new turbo car. So as she sits, black interior. All stock. It is auto. 200 ish and like 20 or something thousand miles on it. Clean title. Got it from California. Kind of a fun story. Tell it to you guys some other time, but let's wash this bad boy. So unfortunately the paint, it looks okay on camera, but it's, I suspect it's been wrapped before. It's far from perfect. So we're probably gonna have to do something about that at some point, but let's talk about what we're gonna do with this thing. Right now it drives as it is. Again, it's auto. It's throwing some coats and stuff for the trans. I think it's trans has a bad solenoid in or something, but we don't need that where we're going. Let's go see what's in the garage. All right, we've got a lot of excitement going on in the garage. Here's the turbo motor. Uh, basically hasn't been touched since I pulled it two and a half, three years ago. So still needs to get a, a reseal, valve stem seals included, and then the trans, cold side intercooler, all the plumbing, everything's under there. Everything else is good to go outside of resealing the motor. This is a buddy's spare GE. This is my spare GE, spare auto. I've got a wall of parts here too. This is mostly turbo car stuff, but there's also like spare interior panels, you know, manual steering wheel. I just got parts for days I've been stacking. Also got a bunch of fins and stuff stacked up in the storage. 
And as you can see, we got other projects going on in the garage. This is what I have been using to cool the garage and it works okay, as long as it's blowing right at you. But I live in Arizona, it's, you know, 100 degrees most of the year, at least in the summertime. So I got an AC unit for the garage. It's not gonna stay here. It's gonna get mounted to the roof, but that's gonna be another fun project we're gonna get to do. So, I mean, just to put it into perspective, I got a quote to insulate this garage with spray foam. It's $4,000, but it's 10.30 in the morning right now. My ceiling is at 134 degrees. So just to put it into perspective how hot it's gonna be during the day, like peak day, that ceiling's like 160 something degrees. So yeah, we're gonna get, install an AC unit in the garage. That's gonna be very exciting. We got all these parts. We should have almost all the parts we have to get the wagon put together and then figure out what we're gonna do with the blue car. Maybe we throw this spare GE and auto into the blue car. I've got a set, uh, spare wiring harness for that car too. So it is plausible to do that, but you know, it's so much work to have an NA auto car. We'll see what the channel wants to do. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. Maybe we can do something else with that car. I'd love to honestly even sell it to a subscriber if they wanted to build it. I just don't want to see that car rot. So if someone wants to do right and build that car, please hit me up. I'd love to see that car live on. That's it, man. I hope you guys are excited for the content that's going to be coming up because I'm excited to be making it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.